Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about the iPhone boot loop fix. So, you find your iPhone is stuck in a boot loop after recently updating the device like iOS 17. It keeps trying to perform the update, yet, you only get an iPhone reboot loop. The Apple logo keeps flashing on and off on the screen and the iPhone never boots up. Sometimes, your iPhone goes into a restart loop because of low storage on the device. Your iPhone suddenly crashes, shows a spinning loading circle, and then gets stuck on an infinite Apple logo loop. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you how to fix iPhone boot loop. First, let's quickly go through what could happen when most users get an iPhone restart loop from the Apple Discussions community. You plug the iPhone into the charger overnight and it goes into a boot loop when turning it back on. You're playing some video games on an iPhone and after a while, it's stuck in a constant reboot loop. You try to stop your iPhone from booting up and looping the Apple logo but get a 4013 or 4014 error on the computer. You're trying to enter recovery mode to fix your iPhone software issues. However, you failed and it started boot looping with the Apple logo ever since instead of showing the recovery mode symbol. iPhone is stuck in a boot loop whenever you can get it to come to the home screen due to low storage. Next, take a look at the common reasons why an iPhone gets stuck in a boot loop. Low storage, accumulated app cache, bad update installation, malware attack, bad battery, malfunctioning apps, jailbreaking failure, corrupted connection between iPhone and third-party device, broken hardware components. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting steps below to get the iPhone out of boot loop. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to fix iPhone boot loop with or without a computer. Besides, if you have any questions about attempting these tricks for Apple logo loop problems, write them down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. 1. Fix iPhone boot loop without computer. I know most of the time, it occurs for no reason when you get a boot loop iPhone. The fix you can try without needing any extra tools is to do a force restart. You just need to do a volume and power button or a power and home button combo to get out of the restart loop. Follow me now to try this iPhone boot loop fix without computer and you have no risk of losing data. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and the side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Hopefully, your iPhone now boots up and goes past the Apple logo to turn on. If not, you can try this step a few more times to fix an iPhone stuck in a reboot loop. 2. Get out of iPhone restart loop with iTunes or Finder. If the device is still boot looping, that means you have to find a tool to help you solve it. From the official's opinions, Apple suggests finding a computer and putting your iPhone into recovery mode to fix the boot loop problem using iTunes or Finder. That way, you can stop the loop and turn on past the Apple logo without losing any data. Follow me now to try this method. Get a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder on your computer. Get your iPhone. Once you've prepared everything, let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Next, put your iPhone into recovery mode. Depending on your iPhone model, you'll need to follow different steps. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, Press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version into your iPhone. Keep your iPhone connected to the computer. If you're noticing the phone, you'll find that it stops the boot looping and then displays an Apple logo with a progress bar. It indicates the updating process. 
The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Hope you now fix the boot looping iPhone and get it up and running. 3. Factory Reset Boot Looping iPhone I know, you never want to do a factory reset. Because it means that you'll have to delete all your precious data like photos, contacts, videos, chat history, and so on. If your iPhone is still under hardware repair coverage or you bought AppleCare Plus service, just take the phone to the nearest Apple Repair Center. The genius guy there will help you fix boot loop without a factory reset. If you're tight on budget or there is no Apple Repair Store nearby, you have no choice but to reset the device. Follow me now to try this method. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, you can see this dialog box on your computer, saying update and restore. Choose the restore option and follow the steps that are left. Again, this step will wipe clean all your data. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart. Quickly go through the initial setup process to set up your device. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix an iPhone stuck in a boot loop. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.